A complete steal occurs when both the systolic and diastolic blood flow are retrograde through the vertebral artery, which is ipsilateral to an obstruction, or a severe stenosis of the subclavian artery or the innominate artery on the right side. Therefore, the direction of the blood flow within the vertebral artery will not be antegrade as it should normally be. The two main ultrasound diagnostic criteria to use for the identification of a complete steal of the vertebral artery are the color Doppler flow appearance and the pulsed wave Doppler waveforms of the affected vertebral artery. In the absence of pathologies, the common carotid artery and the ipsilateral vertebral artery present with the same color Doppler flow appearance. Thus, if red on the color bar indicates arterial flow, both the common carotid artery and the vertebral artery will appear in red, while the vertebral vein will appear in blue. In presence of a complete steal, while the common carotid artery will appear in red, the vertebral artery will appear in blue, thereby indicating the different direction of the flow through the vertebral artery compared to the ipsilateral common carotid artery. A second criterion used to confirm the presence of a complete steal of the flow through the vertebral artery is the Doppler waveform. Simply obtain a Doppler waveform from the vertebral artery and observe the direction of the flow. In this example, the vertebral artery Doppler waveform is below the baseline and therefore indicates that the flow is directed away from the transducer. This criterion is used to confirm the color Doppler flow findings. When we compare the vertebral artery Doppler waveform with that obtained from the ipsilateral common carotid artery, we can see that the directions of the waveforms are opposite to each other. The vertebral artery waveform is below the baseline, while that of the common carotid artery is above the baseline. 